Hello, this is Yo Sensei. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to draw exploded axonometric drawing for uh, architecture and product design uh, using Rhino and Adobe Illustrator. So if you use this technique, uh, it will be, uh, you will be able to produce a uh, drawing like this, uh, this kind of IKEA um, parts uh, instruction manual. Uh, and um, so the purpose of it is that uh, they don't use any language uh, in this one. So there's no, nothing related to uh, their language. Uh, just because they ship their products to uh, very, very many places. So um, instead of using the language, they use extremely useful uh, graphics to explain the um, concept of uh, construction. So today, uh, we are going to use this Pixar lamp uh, in Rhino that you can download from the uh, link below. Uh, so let's get to that. So the first thing that you want to do is you'd like to change the um, view angle uh, viewing mode of this lamp. Uh, it is now at uh, perspective more mode. So if you just click uh, on the you know empty part of your viewport, uh, you will have the viewport property. Uh, if you don't, just find your property and uh, then, or you can find viewport property from right clicking this tab and then. Uh, go to viewport properties uh, on Windows, it should be at the bottom, and then change it to parallel view. Okay. Parallel view, uh, what it does is that uh, it's going to remove the perspective uh, distortion, so all of the parts are in the same scale uh, if you look at the, um, the exploded parts. So now what you want to do is uh, you would like to copy this object uh, because we would like to keep the one that is assembled and the one that is uh, disassembled uh, together. So I can just hide the one that I uh, that I copied. So uh, if you look at this model, um, it is it, the way this is constructed is that uh, it's got the, these middle pins and then these panels on the side. And uh, so now we just take a bunch of pins, uh, pins that are there. Um, okay, on this view and uh, we will move it to uh, this side. So uh, using Gumball, you can just move it uh, onto one direction. Okay. And then next step we are going to take is these, uh, uh, no, uh, this, this panel, uh, this leg that is going to be single. And next layer is um, these panels that are there. So that's group. Uh, it's probably a good idea to group them individually. Uh, group. group them. Uh, for each uh, group of things. Uh, and then next step is these ones. Uh, but these uh, bars are set in the middle, so we are not going to move them. And then we will take this set uh, that are on the other side and then move it out. And then finally, this arm is going to go the outside of these. So, the one rule of uh, exploded axonometric is that uh, none, all of the parts should be uh, away from each other and none of them should be touching each other. Uh, and they only move to one direction. So uh, try not to move it more than one, one axis, uh, like X axis and Z axis. Okay. So now uh, the next stop is uh, we would like to uh, go to this side view and then kind of, you know, um, move the light bulb in the direction of uh, its, uh, of the form. So uh, I was moving it from this way to this way, so that worked well. Um, and then this face can come down, and this pin uh, can come down. And then I'm looking at both perspective view and side view to uh, adjust where they are going to go so that they're not overlapping with each other. So uh, this seems uh, pretty good. Um, and uh, all 
holes. So I don't like how these two pins are intersecting with each other. So uh, maybe I will go this way and then adjust um, the rest of the parts to be uh, away from each other. Um, but at the same time, we want to keep them as close as possible. Um, so, so that when you draw them, uh, everything is going to be in the same compact uh, place. Uh, my light bulb location is wrong now, so I will go back and just take a look at it and fix it. So this seems to be uh, the right uh, position. So now uh, what you can do is uh, you can type uh, named views, named view. And named view is going to let you save um, your views. Uh, and uh, so this panel uh, on the right side showed up. So uh, what you can say is, um, oops, oh, okay. For some reasons it, it got uh, lost. So we are going to run make 2D command. Make 2D. So select both objects, uh, make 2D. So inside of make 2D, uh, what you're going to have is that the 2D uh, drawing options, explore axonometric view, which is the view, uh, say view that I have, a projection view is fine in this case. Uh, object properties uh, by output layer. So output layer um, object color is going to um, be divided into several layers, um, which is tangent, scene silhouette, and the main. And uh, so they need to uh, go into the uh, destination layers. And then uh, you should have tangent edges, uh, hidden lines are on, off, uh, since we don't need to have see these hidden lines. Scene silhouette is super useful. So uh, we would like to amplify the outline of this drawing. So scene silhouette's on. Uh, viewport rectangle, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, group object uh, by the output, that's good. Register with previous. Um, this one, we don't do versions, so it's okay, so apply. And uh, it's taking some time to uh, make 2D. So you will see this drawing on your um, top view. So when you make 2D, uh, you will have um, these drawings on curves layer, which is the entire curves. Uh, and uh, tangents that are kind of, you know, uh, not the surface edge, but uh, lines around the tangents. And then uh, scene silhouette, which is uh, outline. However, this drawing has some issues uh, in a way that um, some of the lines, uh, curves are missing. Um, so uh, in this kind of rounded area, this is kind of general uh, common issue uh, inside of Rhino. So we need to uh, go ahead and change it. Um, since the line color is not by the layer, I am going to select everything and then go to my properties and then display color by layer. By layer. Yeah. Which I did. Uh, and um, maybe I can change color of different layers. So uh, in this case, uh, what I need to do is I have to ungroup everything since everything is grouped several times. And then I will take uh, these lines from here and then uh, copy it to uh, scene silhouette. So by right clicking it and uh, moving objects to uh, scene silhouette and then just copy uh, these lines to the parts that are missing this arc. Okay. 
that can be used for uh, these parts that are slightly off. Uh, this part too. Uh, this one is not so seen. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to draw a curve from here to here on the same silhouette layer. And um, also the same uh, stuff as uh, this part too. So I'm going to select these curves, uh, change it to scene silhouette layer, and then uh, copy them uh, from this edge to this edge. This is, it try to be as accurate as possible, but it's not a deal breaker if something is slightly off. Okay. But this line we shouldn't see, so I'm just going to trim it. Um, OK, so something like that. Um, OK, so now we have the layer uh, of curves and tangents and scenes to it. Uh, we will select everything. And then uh, go to File uh, and Export Selected. And I am going to place this directly on desktop and lamp dot Adobe Illustrator dot AI. And uh, so snapshot of current view uh, is fine. Uh, this is just fine. Default is fine. So you move to Adobe Illustrator and uh, open this file. Typically, uh, this is shown uh, pretty small uh, and kind of colorful. Uh, so first thing that you want to, so um, the interface of Adobe Illustrator uh, is very simple. Uh, you hold down Option or Alt key on your Windows. You can use a scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And then you hold the space bar on your keyboard, and then that will pan. That's it. So that's a very simple uh, user interface. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to art ports uh, on the right side. Uh, if you don't see that, you should actually change your workspace to Essentials Classic. And uh, this will give you very basic uh, interface layout. Art boards, uh, click on this <coughs> uh, little icon and just change it to um, tabloid sideways. Okay. okay. So you can just move, uh, get everything to be uh, slightly bigger. And uh, then what we're going to do uh, is we go back to layers. And um, in this little circle next to layers, uh, it will let you select everything from this layer. So um, scene silhouette, I will uh, select here. Uh, and I would like to change it to uh, black stroke uh, and the stroke size to be uh, 1.5. And uh, then I will go to tangent, uh, black uh, stroke, 0.5. And for the visible lines, I will change it to black and 0.5. So by doing this, uh, maybe we can change the tangent to be slightly smaller, 0.25. So this is tertiary line. Okay, so that's pretty good. And um, so now uh, the next thing that we would like to do is how these lines will assemble, uh, get into assembly. So uh, we can use dotted lines. And uh, what we can do is since this line right here is already a um, on this axial angle, uh, we can just copy and paste this line or uh, drag and hold down option or alt key on the keyboard to drop to copy. Okay, so I will change this line weight to uh, 0 0.25 points and uh, dash line. So click on dash line and then change it to uh, six point dash line. Okay, so I will move it to uh, on the screw side and then I can hold uh, shift and uh, enlarge it. And uh, so what it's going to do is it's going to reach to the point where uh, it should go. So um, 
you can just keep copying, uh, holding option and drop, and holding option and drop, option or alt key, uh, drag and drop with holding option or alt key. Um, and then it's going to really, really get it through uh, every single hole, um, which is very nice. And uh, then we can also draw a vertical line um, that will indicate that um, these parts are coming from here. Okay. Um, and then this one, this line goes into here. And one thing that I don't like is that uh, these dotted lines are going over my uh, lamp. So the way I am going to do is I am going to take a look, very closer look at this. And uh, I will look at this dotted line. Going over this part is fine, but going into this hole and then coming out from the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate scissors command, uh, which is uh, under eraser and scissors. Uh, you can just type C to activate scissors. So what you can do is you can click on one side and click on one side. And then selection tool, delete. So uh, you can control how uh, these lines are going to go in scissor C. Uh, and then I'm just going to delete uh, on both sides too and then B uh, to get the direct selection tool and then uh, delete these lines. So uh, C, just delete uh, the lines on both sides of the um, shade. then B uh, and I'm just going to delete uh, the lines that are going over our lampshade. Uh, like this. Sometimes you miss it and then they will catch you. So this is simple rep repetition. So I'm just going to stop the video right here. I ended up cleaning this drawing, uh, going into these lines, uh, and then cutting uh, the part that is uh, overlapping with the drawing. So uh, it's pretty good. Uh, some parts that will bo that bothers me is, uh, is this kind of uh, imperfect part. So uh, in this case, I'm, you can just you know use a pen tool to um, pen tool using Illustrator uh, on this layer to. Um, and I'll close it. These parts. Yeah. So uh, that seems okay. Uh, so now uh, we have this. So uh, that's pretty much how you uh, design uh, pixel lamp. Oh, another thing that, that I would like to show uh, is maybe showing some kind of detail window. So in this case, uh, we have this piece and uh, we can just take copy uh, and paste uh, this part. Uh, and uh, so now we can use a uh, uh, circle to zoom in to uh, this very detail, uh, which is the same size. And then uh, in this case, we can make this one uh, really big. Um, and again, uh, use the uh, um, scissors tool to cut these lines that are outside of our circle. So oh, um, I'm just going to delete uh, the lines that are 
outside of my uh, line. Is it true? Double lines. Um, okay. Um, yeah, so there are like a bunch of double lines, so uh, you need to be careful. Yeah, I think it draws multiple lines uh, in the same location. Oh, uh, this way uh, you can show the detail of this drawing. And this line should be the tangent edge. So this concludes uh, IKEA instruction manual uh, drawing. And uh, so it's going to be like this. So you can do a uh, big um, text like IKEA, <laughs> like this. So this would be your uh, pixel lamp. Um, Okay, thank you. So that will conclude our pixel lamp uh, exercise. Thank you very much.